the battle for sports rights, the NBA deal, one of the big things that's coming up. Um, what's your outlook for that? How does that influence this uh, streamer war? Yes, sure. The sports rights is actually sports is an interesting content because it ha definitely is conducive for people to stick around and then be more loyal to the platform. Now, as you know, the the streaming war has started and then there's not enough market for 80 streamers to have their own portion. So we at Alex Parsons believe that this will consolidate down to four to five major players will take the most. In that sense, actually, sports will play a role to make the customers stick out for us, uh, stand and and remain in the platform. So Whereas what that, go ahead. Oh, sorry to interrupt you, Grace, but I just want, you, you, you said something that kind of caught my ear. So it sounds like you think that consolidation is on the way. We know Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount have discussed it. Some people believe that Comcast may get involved in that. Just from right, right now, what we know today, how do you see that all playing out, this consolidation? Sure. Indeed, 2024 will be a year of change for media and entertainment. As I said earlier, the streaming market has been growing at 22% from starting from 2017 to 2023. Now, we at Alex Parsons believe that growth will come down to mid-single digit starting from 2024 to 2026. What that means for the media entertainment player is that they will have to consolidate that to get bigger. So not only the rumor deal, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a more deal coming in coming uh, 2024 and coming years. All right. Um, one thing that's really a driving force for the media entertainment, uh, media and entertainment space is ad spending. So uh, data shows the forecast is for ad spending to recover moderately uh, to mid single digit growth likely. Um, what's your outlook when it comes to ad spending? We saw a lot of uh, companies say the ads market was softer after the start of the Israel Hamas war. Yes, the ad spend, I, I see a two big trend. One is the digital, the rotation towards the digital. As the advertisers start to start to think about their advertising budget, they would like to put their money where they can actually track the clear ROI. So that will cause the rotation towards the digital market. The second thing that I, I expect to see is the more volatility. As digital market ad spending can be pulled and pushed more frequently, so we would see more volatility going into every quarter from 2024. All right. Well, now that we're past some of the strikes and some of the other disruptions, um, what are some of the other things that you're looking for in the media and entertainment space? Uh, we've also seen a bit of a shift when it comes to the box office. Superhero movies uh, for the last decade or so, amazing. Big results now, not so much. Yes, I think the the, um, the preferred form of content distribution is definitely moving towards the digital and then over the top. And we, from the advertising perspective, as well as subscription perspective, we will see a continued rotation towards the digital channel. So uh, that said, the, the box office trend, I don't think it will be reversed greatly from here. And um, and the, the streaming will be still a preferred platform of media consumption. So you mentioned this kind of a uh, shift when it comes to media consumption that goes to the box office. I think it also goes to just regular TV, uh, especially when we're talking about local news and local programming. How do you see that shifting? I thought it was pretty interesting yesterday. We saw the New York Times suing Microsoft and OpenAI. Um, is, is that going to be a factor, just the influence of AI on local TV and, and broadcast? So 2023 doesn't go down without mentioning AI. So AI has been uh, a major disruption in many industry and media entertainment is not a not an exception. I think AI will be more real as we go into 2024, whether it be a media content creation or production or the other side of the media, meaning like post-production or data and anal analytics. Across all value chain of media, uh, AI adoption will become more real and investors will require the media and entertainment company to generate a tangible result by using AI technologies.